Hey, what's up everybody? So we officially are now in my top 20 favorite movies of 2023. So coming in at number 20 was Mission Impossible Dead, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Love the Mission Impossible movies. Uh, Vanessa Kirby. Oh my gosh. Vanessa Kirby looked so amazing in this. I love the cast. Um, I don't know when part two is going to come out because it originally was supposed to come out in 2024 but with the whole writer strike and actor strike they pushed it i think till 2025 and i'm like no i can't wait for that long for part two so um i'm just hoping they start shooting soon maybe they'll come out a lot sooner i don't know but yeah i loved mission impossible dead reckoning i don't think it was as good as the last one with henry cavill but this one was still a fantastic movie. Uh, coming in at number 19, we've got an MCU movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Oh my God, stick that knife in my heart. The tears, the tears of this movie. Oh my God, first F-bomb. Oh my God, Star-Lord was like, open the fucking door. I was like, oh my God, it was like, hell no. Um... It was just so sad. It was it was it was really good. I saw it twice. Um, I haven't picked it up on Blu-ray yet, but uh, the ending was fantastic. Obviously, it was James Gunn, quote unquote, last um, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I don't know if they're gonna do more with these characters with Star Lord. Maybe in Secret uh, Wars. I don't know if they're gonna do a volume four if like a new uh, director takes over. But it had a really, the music was great. The score was really good. It was a fantastic movie. Like I said, it was sad. And, uh, but yeah, it was, it was so good. So that came in at number 19. At number 18, oh my God, a crazy ass movie. Infinity Pool. If you have not, if you have not seen Infinity Pool, uh, see that. Mia Goth. Oh my God, uh, Mia Goth was just like that, like four minute, five minute orgy scene was just like, what the fuck? I was just like, oh my God, crazy. And I'm still like, even at the end, it's just got a crazy ending and it even leaves some like questions unanswered. You're probably just like, okay, um, did the is, are those actually the people are those the clones? I don't know. But Infinity Pool might be the top five craziest movies I've ever seen. It was so good. It was fantastic. I loved Infinity Pool. Number 17, Transformers Rise of the Beast. And oh my God, this surprised the hell out of me. This was the best one since the first one. And Transformers has really been a stinking pile of dog crap after the second one is somewhat watchable but man after the second one it just went but man it definitely resurrect themselves uh the the um the beasts were really cool um the beast war stuff i never got into beast wars i only watched the g1 transformers so the first four seasons of the original but here in pure and colin peter colin voicing optimus was um, so freaking awesome. Mirage, yes, Mirage was awesome. It was so cool to see RC back. Um, I hated Wheeljack. What, can't, what, what? That's the one thing I just couldn't stand about that movie was like, Wheeljack, how can you screw up Wheeljack? Um, you know what? Just look up pictures. That's not what Wheeljack, and they gave him a French accent. Oh my God, what are you doing? Um, freaking, uh, Oh my, I don't know what to say, but the score was great. Uh, Unicron was awesome. It had Unicron's original 80s, 86 movie score. It was great. I, the action was fantastic. And uh, I just, I mean, there was other stuff that came out that, um, that I enjoyed more, but damn it. If this, if this was like one of those years that was a down year, Transformers would easily would have been in my top five. Uh, coming in at number 16, is they cloned Tyrone. And I can't remember where I watched it. I think it was Netflix. But oh my god. It had Jamie Foxx and, and uh, uh, 
J boy boy I think it's a J boy Yega um in it it was so insane um I don't know how to describe this movie um but it was it had Kiefer Sutherland in it and um cloning and just kind of like almost like a groundhog day in a in a couple of scenes and it's just I don't know how to describe it but um, if you're in for a crazy wild movie, look up They Clone Tyrone. It is just wild. And then the last one for this list, number 15, Thanksgiving, Eli Roth. Oh my God, he made a movie off the fake trailer of Thanksgiving that was um, between um, Planet Terror and Death Proof. And I just hope we get Werewolf Women of the SS. Uh, Rob Zombie, if you're watching this, please make that happen. Thanksgiving was really good. When that first big kind of decapitation killer uh, or death scene happened, I was like, yep, I'm watching a Eli Ross scene. The Black Friday scene was crazy. Um, I don't know if the killer surprise was, it kind of shocked me at all, but um, it's definitely probably good just for one time. It's not something I'm going to pick up or buy, but... Um, but yeah, maybe I'll watch it every year for Thanksgiving, but yeah, it was, it was pretty decent. It was gruesome. It was Eli Roth. I love you, Eli Roth. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen, uh, Thanksgiving.